She's been in pain for six years, GI issues. She has neck pain, but the GI issues is number one. The SIBO, you think it is? Appalachia. So she thinks she has both of those. She's been to a ton of different doctors and nothing's helped, so she's come from Maryland to come see me. Mm. My first name is Chauncey, and I work for the government. Um, I'm, I doing do, admin work behind do, the computer. I do mad, admin work behind the computer. And she's from Maryland. Why did you come this far to see me? Well, I was really um, impressed by what I saw in the in your videos. Um, you re, you you really it showed how you really help people, and I've seen I've seen a number of uh, chiropractors, and I've comparing the two. I'm number five. Yeah, you're number five. Just and, put it Right, so... Um, Holistic doctors, and been to GI specialists, medical doctors, tried drugs, tried all these naturopathic things, and she says she's 25% better for her issue that she has, she yes. can share in a second, mm -hmm. but still, just it's just a slow, lethargic thing, she's not getting better. Exactly. So, she's come to the West Coast to get a miracle. Yeah. Hopefully. Gotcha. <laughs> tell, us, tell us what your symptoms are. What are your symptoms? Um, I have, Why are you What's the number one thing? I have a lot of pain in my stomach. Abdominal issues. Um, when I eat food, about 45 minutes to an hour, I experience a lot of pain. I feel bloated. No matter what you eat, right? it doesn't matter what I eat. I just have this pain after. Not a vegetarian. Not a vegetarian. Gotcha. Gotcha. And so it uh, doesn't matter meat, no meat, veggies, no veggies, matter. soup, not that kind of stuff. All the same kind of thing, right? Exactly. And so tell us the two things you've been diagnosed with in the past. Um, uh, with SIBO and also uh, with the, um, it's a swallowing issue. I've been diagnosed with achalasia. Um, I underwent a procedure poem to correct that. Poem is a P O E M, yes. is a mnemonic for the surgery. It's a cardiac sphincter surgery to mm -hmm. open it up to, mm -hmm. because she also has acid reflux. Yes. Yes, um, I would say from that uh, poem procedure, it helped about maybe about fifty percent, but I'm still experiencing pain. Gotcha, fair yeah, enough. Yeah. But she's come this way not because uh, of a nothing thing. She comes as far because she wants some relief from something that's just bothering her. So she also has uh, headaches every day for a couple hours a day. Mm -hmm. um, she doesn't know what causes them, but she's had it for about two years. But we figured it out already. Guess what? She's working at home for two years. She sits her ass on that couch and reaches for her laptop and does her admin work from the comfort of her couch. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I like to exaggerate things, by the way. But anyway, she sits on her couch, and so ever since she's been doing that, she mm -hmm. has a headache every day. Okay, she has constipation three to four times a week. Has trouble going to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. um, is it uh, diarrhea? Is it uh, hard stool? What's it's hard. The, uh, sleep deprivation. She has problems with sleep, and she's had that for the last six years and beyond. Um, with sleep deprivation, she's also had depression set in. So depression, she thinks it's from the pain she has now, but she has issues emotionally with that. Right. And she thinks we've even diagnosed her partially. She doesn't have a formal diagnosis, mm -hmm. fibromyalgia. And because she has this generally is ach achiness. When I wake up, my arms and legs are, are stiff. X-rays are messed up. Uh, I'll tell you right now, she has uh, 26 degrees scoliosis in her low back. Uh, she has, uh, I think it was 26 millimeters off imbalance in her balance. Her balance is way the hell off. She's a high reversal, Atlas wear. But her big thing that was surprising is how much scoliosis she has and how unbalanced she is. She's way the hell off. Take a look at the arrow, it points way over, and um, that's where you need to work on. Her balance is way off. We got a 23 millimeter right imbalance, 16 degree scoliosis, and a bunch of other stuff. Here we have 24 degree scoliosis, 3 millimeter right short leg, and some constipation. Here I have high neck reversal, impacted wisdom tooth, and one half atlas wear, and easy one, the last one, sway back and constipation. Go ahead and bend over, touch your toes, best you can. How much pain in your back? Nothing, right? Mm, nothing. Got your stand up, please. Back like this, please. Mm -hmm. Nothing there either, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, look at the floor, please, with your neck. Oh. Any pain there at all? No pain. Look at the ceiling. How about that? Okay. Gotcha. Oh dear, looks I'm a little scared. Yeah, no problem. We'll take our time. No, I'm not going to jump on you. We'll take our time, okay? So as you say, as you heard, she's been to a couple chiropractors. It sounds like she's they, she's had some experience with neck adjustments. She knows that mine's going to be a little different because of the intensity. And she'll let you know how she feels in a second. So her reverse curve is a little higher. So I'm going to start with like C3 here instead of C3, C4. And she can feel the tension right there already. I'm gonna bring her towards me here. She's letting me do this pretty good. 
Okay. Oh. Okay. Whoa. <clears throat> so you're saying that uh, that's different, it sounds like. Yeah, that's different. Wow. How was oh, it yeah. different? Definitely more intense. Okay. Yeah, more intense. That's all that's all I can say to that. What about <laughs> what about pain wise? Was it very painful? No, not really. Not as much as you think it would no, be, right? Just no. more intense. Just that's it. Okay, more perfect. intense. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. Come towards me, please. Good girl, there you go. Dang. How's that? <laughs> my Dang. neck. It feels like you could, <laughs> like it's gonna I know you're not gonna take it off, but it feels like so intense. Yeah, we hardly lose anybody with this neck adjustment. <laughs> it's a good thing. <laughs> Chauncey's experiencing a new type of chiropractic, and so I wanted to help her up and kind of check out how she's doing. Uh, I expect her to be a little lightheaded because, again, she has balance issues. I'm really curious to see what, how she's doing. Let's check her out. I, mean, I feel like the, you've adjusted my neck. I feel fair enough, fair enough. like that's it. Okay, it's time for recalibration with no twisting or turning. Mm, not really. Okay, let's sit back on the door. Okay. Go ahead and bend over, touch your toes. She had no pain with these. We'll see how she feels different if she does. Okay, what was different about that? Stand up. I thought I feel like I could go yeah. down a little farther. Okay. And I didn't touch your back, right? I didn't stretch you, nothing. No, you back like this, please. Mm. So you feel more flexible, right? Mm -hmm, I do. Yeah. I do feel a little bit more flexible. Yeah. yeah. So instantaneous change globally. Mm -hmm. Arms down, please. Put your head to the ground. Look at the ground. There was nothing there. I didn't see right. That's actually a little more too. Uh, see that? You were able to look down a little more. Oh yeah. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. you come this way. Yeah. She's hopeful. Yeah. She's hopeful. Yeah. Say goodbye, Chauncey. <laughs> <laughs> well, I learned a lot, and I'm still learning. <laughs> um, I can see it has. It has helped. Um, my, I feel like my sleep has improved some. Oh, good. Okay. Um, and I noticed, uh, like yesterday, um, I didn't have like a headache like I usually do. I didn't have that headache in the afternoon, so that was. That's nice. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay, you came here with stomach problems. How, how yeah. much? On a percentage scale, how much better is your stomach problems? 10, 20, 30, or if they're better at all, let us know how that's changed over four, four days. It's only four days. Um, I, I would say, I would give it like Honestly. 10, 10 percent. Okay, 10 percent. Okay. Yeah, Good. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I just want her opinion, guys. Now, we have talked about her stomach all week, and there's been times when she doesn't have any pain for long periods of time in her stomach. Mm -hmm. And that's unusual for her, but 10% mm -hmm. because she has still going in and out of pain. So she has it sometimes and doesn't have it sometimes. So mm -hmm. that's fair enough. I mean, it's, it's a lot, you put, there's a lot of work, but it's good work. I mean, it really, I'm seeing how it really helps. I just, it's, it's, it's a lot of work. Yeah. It's, but it's good work. Good, 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 good. Very good work. Good. How are the cookies, by the way, too? Oh my goodness, those cookies were so good. <laughs> Thai tea cookies. We had a patient bring some cookies, and she's she's like, I just took a couple more, Dr. Oh. Bear. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the one thing we noticed with Chauncey is that uh, when we adjust her, she's all over the freaking place. Mm. She she has really, really, really bad, not vertigo, with balance issues. Mm -hmm. And so she literally has to stop, hold herself up. So I'll try to get some of that video if she has it today again. But this is blends into her why she's here. She has such bad balance problems. She can hardly walk after I adjust her. Mm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So we're going to solve that probably more next week. But um, you can see the whole problem emerge as we work on her. Okay? Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> Look at her legs. She likes, to throw, <laughs> she likes to throw her legs around. Getting ready. <laughs> Okay. Wow. That's pretty good. See, I distracted you a little bit there, right? Yeah, that helped. Whew. Talking about your legs. Right. She's a little drama queen. Ooh. Yeah, there go the legs. <laughs> okay. All right, I think I'm ready to... Go ahead and stand up. Okay. Okay, okay. Well, See, look, she okay. has a little problem with the old whoop de do there. A little balance okay. issue. All right. Okay. So what does it feel like to have this kind of movement like it does it feel weird to like it, not be able to walk straight it does feel weird yeah 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 go ahead and stop 
And today is our first adjustment for our Atlas, and uh, you guys get to watch. Okay. We also talk about our impacted tooth. I don't know if we talked about that yet, but uh, you guys see the x-ray from before, and I'll show you that x-ray real quick right now. But she has one impacted tooth left. And why is that important? Well, that impacted tooth causes more pressure on one side of the jaw, which will cause distortion of the teeth, which also causes jaw pressure, which will consequently cause skull pressure, which can consequently cause neck pain. And so uh, I was informing her that she should probably get it removed. And again, check out X-ray out, you'll see what I'm talking about. Because she only has one. I'm coming right off her mastoid, guys. We're going in position, not gonna move fast. Draw to nice and easy. Yeah. We gotta get it in the right position. She's really pretty relaxed. Right there. Good. Oh, okay. It's similar to, seems, yeah, <coughs> seems similar, similar yeah, yeah. to the, mm-hmm. I was telling Chauncey that I'm excited about doing the Atlas because I think that's gonna take the next, help her take the next step forward. Because there's some kind of issue that she is just not quite getting yet. And sometimes it's Atlas adjustment. Good. How was that? Oh. A little more sensitive on that yeah. side? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> the Atlas yeah, adjustment Yeah, I can feel it in here. Exactly. Woo! Not the right side, but the left side you did. The right? left side, yeah. yes. <laughs> so that's what to be, I expected that. Watching Chauncey through the window of my office, I'm treating somebody else right now, but I took a second to look at her walk. She buddied up with one of the other people from the class, and she's practicing the techniques. I've shown her how to do good posture, so I like to see if they're doing it. So just watching. Let's give her first clavicle adjustment, uh, see how she does. We just did a C3 that was kind of different on her. Scoot down, Tad. Very good. Oh. And uh, it was interesting because it's this adjustment I did all last week that was huge. Today it was really, really, oh. really hard to adjust her. Okay, we're gonna adjust this real quick. Oh. Oh. oh I can't keep moving my feet. Sorry. <laughs> it's already starting to pop. Oh. Oh. Good. Oh. Ooh. Good gracious. Uh, two weeks later, uh, she's questioning whether she's gonna even put this on. <laughs> on YouTube, and so uh, she thinks it's a waste of time. Because why? I'm camera shot. Camera shot, gotcha. <laughs> Even though she's about had a mask, and so uh, <laughs> if you guys see this, I mean, she was gracious enough to bestow a uh, release on us so that we could show you guys her amazing story. Okay, so okay. anyways, thank her in the comments. She is a very sweet lady. Um, doesn't listen to me very well, but she's a very sweet lady. <laughs> Okay, so uh, Chauncey, uh, why don't I just turn it over to you first, and if you miss anything, I'll kind of uh, fill mm -hmm, it in. Mm -hmm. But why don't you tell us, how are you doing after two weeks? Well, see, I came here for uh, stomach issues, uh, abdominal pain, and I can say that it's definitely, um, I can see the results in that it's, the pain has definitely reduced. Um, uh, it's 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 better. Um, How much better do you think overall, percentage wise? Um, let's see. Uh, I say twenty percent. Okay. Twenty percent. Yeah. Hmm. I'm surprised she'd say that because yeah. uh, she's doing a lot better than I thought. I, I thought she's doing a lot better than that. But twenty percent. Let's take her word for it. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, what else has gotten better? Um, my sleep is a is a little bit better. How much better there? Uh, it's all my fault, by the way. It's not a lot better. <laughs> well, I blame myself. Yeah, she should. She just told me a couple days ago that I, she's been working the whole time. <laughs> that too. Waking up on East Coast time and yeah. trying to navigate me and work. Right. So I, I, I uh, it can't be all I my did not fault. help myself no, at all. No, she didn't at all. I made it but, really. But, she. How much better is your sleep? Um, I will give it. 30%, whatever. I would give it 30%. Gotcha, good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, what else? Um. What else seems to be different after the two weeks? How about our relationship? Like, How about our relationship? Are we tighter? Are we tighter now? Oh, yeah, we are. <laughs> but it's, I, I, I lear, I'm, I've learned how to manage my pain. I know what to do. I have the, uh, what is it, the uh, the tools to, to deal or to uh, manage my pain. And yeah, I, I love that. Yeah. You think you got some tools? You're taking something away from here? Oh, yeah. Good, good, oh, yeah. good, good. How hard is it to learn those tools? Well, 
to be honest, it's, it's yeah. not it's not easy, but yeah. you know. But you do see some benefit from. I do tools. see some benefits. Good, I love it. What else have you learned here? What else? What else is approved? How are your daily headaches? Every day you have them. Now, how many do you have them now? Um, I'm still well. You still have every day? I'm still having those. I'm still waking up with the headache. You didn't tell me this morning you had a headache, but go ahead. We talked about it. Yes, I'm still. Okay, yeah. so go ahead. Uh, how much better are they? Are they better at all? If they're not, just tell them the truth. Mm. You're going to say no. And I noticed, uh, like yesterday, um, I didn't have like a headache like I usually do. I didn't have that headache in the afternoon, so that was. That's nice. Yeah, yeah. Okay, no. so uh, constipation. You only go every other day. I was going going more. Definitely going more. How much better is that? Uh, I say I give. Is it that a uh, two flush? I'm oh, sorry. Like I'm going three times. I'm been going a day. Three. Yeah. So I would say 100 percent better. Or what mm -hmm, do you think? Mm -hmm. So I made you a pooper. Gotcha. <laughs> uh, depression. How's depression? Any depression change? Um, it has. Gotcha. How much yeah. better is that? It's much better. Gotcha. Yeah. Generalized achiness. I have here. Generalized achiness. I don't know what does that mean to you? I wrote it down as something. Yeah. Like um, I do have achiness. <clears throat> How's that? Throw. Um. I give it ten percent. Gotcha. Yeah. Stiff legs and stiff arms in the morning. Still having that, but it's not as bad. How I, much better? I'd say ten percent. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Acid reflux once a week. Any change in the acid reflux? Dang, I, I didn't have any acid reflux. I didn't. I have not experienced it. I can't remember having that. Having acid reflux. But you had it before, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's better, right? Yeah. That yeah. is better. Good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is better. I, yeah. I love when she's surprised. You know, I mean, uh, it's been a lot of fun working with her because every time I say something off the wall, she always is my, my straight man. She laughs at everything I say or, or mm -hmm. is, is upset at what I say. She, she's a very uh, good person to have in the office because it makes me feel like I, my jokes are really working. So thank you very much for that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, interesting. I would say, uh, let me give you my take on what's going on with her and I don't, I'm not going to try to change your mind at all. That's not what I'm doing here. I'm just going to tell you what I hear. Mm -hmm. And so, <laughs> we've been going over her GI stuff all week, uh, two weeks, and her stomach issues, her pain in her stomach, uh, a lot of it is because of poor hospital uh, recommendations. She was sleeping on four pillows. We'll show you that picture in a second here because I got pictures of that. And she was told incorrectly she's been sleeping on four pillows for five years. So the, the hospital caused her pain to be worse. And so we got her down, laying down last night. She woke up, she had less, the least pain she's had for two weeks mm -hmm. this morning. So I think it's way better than 20%. She's also gone after I adjust her, every single time I adjust her the entire day, she has zero pain in her stomach until the next morning. Mm -hmm. And so the reason why she had pain in the morning is because she's sleeping on four freaking pillows. Mm -hmm. And so we just removed that from her. She only had mm -hmm. one day to do it. So she's saying 20%. I'm going to say I think she's probably 50, 60% better. But I'm not going to try. I'm, again, this is just me looking from the outside in. Mm -hmm. Because the amount of time she's complained about her stomach is freaking hardly at all. That's true. Okay, so anyways, yeah. that's my take. And I'm only saying this because I want people out there to understand that uh, chiropractic can really help all mm -hmm. of you, not just pain, but other things. And she came here for her stomach, and I think it's better than this. But mm -hmm. again, I'm not trying to change your mind. If it's 20%, that's still better than nothing. Mm -hmm. for her. That's, good, true. Good, sure. that's true. Anything else you want to add? All I can what do you think of the class? What do you think of the class? I'm kind of curious what you think about working through people. You've had two different classes here. Yeah. You've worked through two, two different classes and people are changed in the class. And what do you think of this yeah, whole thing? Really good experience. Good, uh, good group of people. Yeah, yeah, not bad. Uh, learn, I learned from them, you know, and, okay. and so, yeah, I really enjoyed it. What would you recommend to them? Should they work eight no, hours a day when you come out No, don't do what I do. Don't work. You need to, when you come here, you cannot be, you cannot work. You cannot work. <laughs> she worked eight hour day. She's up at three in the morning <laughs> on her freaking laptop. Yeah. And she's like yawning in my class. <sighs> yeah, don't do that. Yeah, so anyways. She had trouble. Good. There we go. Oh, wow. See? Mm hmm. Okay, let's just go here. Relax. Good girl. I'm going to yeah. do one more adjustment on you, by the way. You're going to turn over on your stomach. So um, I am going to adjust her back. This is the first time we've done it all week. It's one of her last adjustments, but I want to see how she does with this because 
she was complaining about it when she sits. So we're gonna try to loosen this up. And so just consequently, this area of her spine goes to her acid reflux. Could be her stomach issues too. So it sounds like a little high or hernia also, but we're gonna go through all of it right now. Okay, so if I breathe in, Chauncey. You breathe out your mouth again, let it go. Good, how was that kiddo? Oh, Painful? No, not really. Okay. 